The Commanders stun the Eagles 32-21 on Monday Night Football to hand Philly their first loss of the season. Washington forcing four Eagles turnovers, and the Commanders control the clock with more than 40 minutes time of possession. Cardinals tight end Zach Ertz suffered a season-ending knee injury in Sunday's win over the Rams, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. The Raiders have claimed defensive tackle Jerry Tillery off waivers. The 2019 first-round pick of the Chargers was waived on Thursday. Tillery will have a chance to face his former team as the Raiders host the Chargers December 4th. Panthers quarterback P.J. Walker is dealing with a high ankle sprain and will miss Week 11. Interim coach Steve Wilkes announced Baker Mayfield will get the start in Baltimore this week. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. You're the one who protects the flock, and that requires an eye for detail. Because when safety and well-being are on the line, it's the details that can save lives. Even when no one else is watching, you see everything. Granger gets you, and we're here for you. And all the ones who get it done with a wide range of safety products and solutions, plus board-certified safety consultants here to answer your questions. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. This is Staples. So rumor has it that Staples has everything I need to ship. That's not a rumor. We have all the shipping supplies and services you need. Boxes? Yep. Mailers? Yep. And I can actually ship there, right? We have UPS right here in store. Huh. What will Staples think of next? <laughs> right? No, seriously, I'm asking, what, what, what will they think of next? Staples has all your shipping supplies and UPS service in store. And right now, get 25% off UPS Express shipping services. Staples, the best kept secret in shipping. And 1231. Valid only in Staples U.S. stores. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXO, El Centro, California. It's a Tuesday, 15th day of November, 2022. In the newsroom, Gene Brister. Good morning, Gene. Good morning. Shaking <sighs> off the uh, little uh, ice cubes this morning. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, this isn't cold? No, you can look at other temperatures around the country. And, yeah. But... Uh, uh, it feels good. Yeah. And uh, Pam is in Omaha today, and uh, they're expecting snow flurries. Well, you know, we're supposed to get some. I just don't know when. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can expect it, okay? Sometime. <laughs> somewhere when you least expect it. Yeah. That's what it's going to do. Well, you know, it was a few years ago that uh, we did have snow on uh, Mount Signal. Mount Signal. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So. That and, has been uh, the longest closure of that ski chalet. I don't know how they do it. You know, it, it, I think it's probably funding from Amazon. Yeah, or they got a perpetual grant. Yeah. Speaking of Amazon, uh, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos says he plans to give away most of his $124 billion fortune throughout his lifetime. <laughs> it's a big change. Yeah, I mean, up until now, he'd been giving away all his money to his ex-wife. So, you know, moving in that direction. Hey, uh, Jeff, you could give some this way. He's thinking about it. Yeah, okay. Are you ready for birthdays? Birthdays. Let's have some. Okay. Let's uh, start off with our big shot birthdays the way we uh, usually do. And uh, our big shot birthdays today, let's see. Uh, Petula Clark is 90, still, uh, still performing. Actor Sam Waterston is 82. Uh, singer Annie Fred Lingstad of ABBA is 77. Actor Bob Gunton is 77. Actor Beverly D'Angelo, 71. Actor, director James Widows is 69. He was, uh, I believe he was the uh, motorcycle guy on uh, in Animal House. <laughs> and one, one of the funny movies. One of the critically acclaimed. Yes. <laughs> Band leader Kevin Eubanks of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 65. Jay, I don't know, did you hear? He's uh, recuperating from some burns. Yeah, from a gasoline fire. Yeah, in his uh, garage among his, among his collection. I'm sure w he will share later on. I'm sure. Actor Rachel True, 56. 
Actor Johnny Lee Miller is 50. Actor Virginia Ledoyan, 46. Actor Sean Murray, 45. Actor Shailene Woodley, 31. Actor Emma Dumont, 28. Local birthdays coming up. What if the music stopped? If the familiar voices were silenced? If there were no breaking news updates? What if your companion and connection to your community came with a monthly fee? Don't worry, we're free local radio with you wherever you go. Celebrating 100 years and looking forward to the next 100. We are broadcasters. Text radio to 52886 and let Congress know you depend on your local TV and radio stations. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. We have happy birthday wishes going out to Dagoberto Hernandez. Kara Marsh and Kinesa Marsh, Danny Alcala, Jeff Manis, Letty Gonzalez, Dolores Vargas, Maggie Buchanan, Andrew Penson, John Mark Sharp, Daniel Weil, Nicole Silva, Joseph Graham, Gabby Rivas, Larry Jennings, Sonia Aguirre, Oscar Rosas, Gilbert Carrillo Sr., Melissa Fonseca, Nancy Lay, Clara Lara, Nancy Rosales, and Victoria Dominguez. Happy birthday from KXO. Happy, happy, happy birthday. And many happy returns. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, lots of things going on. We'll tell you about some uh, football action coming up. And uh, we were able to uh, secure the rights to UCLA USC football Saturday afternoon. Great game. It's always a good one. Both teams uh, in uh, somewhat of a resurgence mode. Yeah. They then they have a rivalry and have for years. Yes, they they do. <sighs> and uh, well, both teams have been kind of down the last couple of years, but this year um, they're both showing real signs of life. Yep. So that, that sounds good. Yeah. There's okay. quite a few alumni uh, here in Imperial County. Well, that's because, um, you know, unlike uh, my daughter Sarah, they couldn't get into the really good UC school, UC San Diego. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and USC, University of Spoiled Children, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know somebody. Uh, uh, I just thought of he if he heard that, uh, <laughs> we, would, we would get a phone call. Okay, um, I know. You're Kevin, thinking of Kevin, you? right? Yeah, where are you? Okay, are you ready for news? I am. Let's jump in with a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News Brief. Many of the candidates he endorsed in the midterms lost, but that's not keeping Donald Trump from another run at the presidency. The former president is apparently set to make an unusually early leap into the campaign, despite losses for many of the Republican candidates he endorsed, some of whom focused on his false claims of widespread election fraud. CBS's Allison Keyes says the announcement is scheduled for tonight. We're seeing increasingly that more people are leaving on Tuesday now. Ayaxa Diaz of AAA says the travel agent Agency is predicting almost 55 million Americans will travel during Thanksgiving week, about 4 million of them by air. That was by video the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky today, asking the G20 leaders to support Ukraine's efforts to push Russian troops out of his country. There are reports that Russian missiles have landed in the capital, Kyiv. CBS News Brief. I'm Christopher Cruz. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. 
California headline news. The mother of Rachel Castillo says she spoke with her daughter's suspected killer just a few days ago. Robin Castillo trying to make sense of the murder allegedly committed by her ex-son-in-law. He's been in our lives for several years. I loved him like a son. You know, I let him into our family. Just a very, very sad circumstance. 25-year-old Rachel Castillo found dead Sunday in the Antelope Valley three days after she went missing. Her ex-husband, Zarb Ali, is behind bars on suspicion of murder. Postal inspectors from Washington joining the investigation into those completed election ballots found in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Lou and Janet Witkin's ballots among them. To think that our votes this time would not be counted, uh, it does not pass very well with us. The ballots apparently delivered to a drive through mailbox at a post office in San Jose. The mailbox locked to access the mail inside is missing. San Francisco voters approved the so-called empty homes tax. They have to pay about $2,500 to $5,000 per year for each of their properties remaining vacant. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, call the experts. Lock Air Conditioning. And custom sheet metal. Guitar, here we come. Kristen's travel agency has one right, goal. Talk to you soon. The world's biggest soccer tourney. The hotel is seven miles from the stadium. Are you serious? Did you email the transportation company? Now he needs an Arabic interpreter on his roster. I don't speak it either. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. So you tested positive for COVID. What's next? Treat yourself. COVID treatments like Paxlovid are free. Taken by pill, these medications can stop the illness from getting serious. So treat yourself. Call a healthcare provider or the statewide COVID hotline at 833-422-4255 to find free treatment today. Again, that's 833-422-4255. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Page one of the local news is a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers. They have three locations in the Valley at El Centro Motors, at the Imperial Valley Mall, and in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Tuesday morning, the Imperial County Registrar of Voters has updated the number of ballots accounted. Approximately 9,500 ballots cast in the November 8th general election remain to be counted. That means an estimated 2,700 additional ballots counted since the last update on Friday. The next update is expected this afternoon. Well, in other uh, news uh, this morning, work plan for Orchard Road, a portion of Orchard Road to be closed. The County Public Works Department issued the announcement. Orchard uh, runs uh, from 4th Street in Hopeville to Interstate 8. It will be closed uh, beginning today through January the 26th. It will have a 73-day closure. That will be from 6A to 4P for road improvements. Vehicles can expect delays due to lane closures. Truck traffic uh, should find an alternate route. KXO News Time coming up to 742. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires, guaranteed. We're talking the finest names in tires, Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. Check the prices, then talk to your Quick Lane service advisor. He will give you the best price, guaranteed. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane at El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, and now at the Imperial Valley Mall. In other local news, uh, El Centro Library is open. Here's more on that story. The library is open for public use. It is the new El Centro Public Library. The grand opening was held last week. The library had operated in a temporary facility for the past 10 years. The permanent library on State Street was seriously damaged in a 7.2 earthquake. The new facility is on North Imperial Avenue, and it is open to the public from Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Friday and Saturday 
from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. More information is available at cityofelcentro.org slash library. And in other news this morning, a house fire on Sunday evening. Quick response keeps the fire from spreading. The fire was re reported at about 6 Sunday evening. Yuma Fire says the fire was reported at a house in the 600 block of South Main Street. Smoke was seen coming from the residence. Firefighters located the fire in the kitchen of the home. They were able to extinguish the fire, keeping it from spreading to the rest of the home. Two adults uh, in the house were able to escape uninjured. Officials say the home did not have a working fire alarm. The fire was uh, caused by unattended cooking. The residents were not able to reoccupy the home without repairs. They were able to stay with neighbors. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the Local News has been a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the Imperial Valley. Remember, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. or on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a podcast of the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service in Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. It's page two of the local news with weather all brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation reminding you it's all here. Continuing with more local news, the 66th installment of the annual Brawley Catacall is in the history books. It wrapped up over the weekend. By all accounts, it was a very successful cattle call. No other official numbers, but all concerned seemed very pleased with this year's turnout. It was the first time the three rodeo performances were held on three separate days. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The new day, Friday, had a very good crowd. A lot of spectators turned out for the uh, parade on Saturday. There were over 100 entries, including floats, bands, horses, the Shriners, and their tiny cars, classic cars, and lowriders, clowns, and more. The Grand Marshal this year was the 1972 Brawley Babe Ruth 13-year-old all-star team. The championship team had won the Pacific Southwest Regional Tournament in Kern County. The best step forward float was the sweepstakes winner taking the $1,000 uh, prize. A free concert uh, is uh, coming up. Eli... Uh, has an update on that story. Free concert. The United States Air Force Band will perform a free concert Tuesday. Today, the U.S. Air Force Airmen of Distinction will appear at 1 p.m. today at the Jimmy Cannon Theater on the campus of Southwest High School in El Centro. The concert is sponsored by Central Union High School District Bands. Is uh, Eli Moreno Drew. The DEA satisfied with Take Back a Day. It was held nationwide in October. The Drug Enforcement Administration hosts the annual event with several law enforcement partners. At the October 2022 National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, they collected more than, are you ready? 640,000 pounds of unneeded medications at close to 5,000 collection sites, including one in Imperial County. Since 2010, they have collected nearly 17 million pounds of unneeded prescription drugs. Uh, vacancy on the advisory council. Uh, they are taking applications. They're looking 
to fill the vacancy on their advisory board. They need to fill an alternate at-large number position. If you are interested, applicants should contact the AAA for uh, details. The deadline to submit an application is December the 9th. The new member will be announced in January of this coming year. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Imperial Valley Business Resource Center is a one-stop shop for business development. We provide a complete roadmap to success for startups, entrepreneurs, and small to medium-sized businesses. Our in-house services include startup assistance, workforce development, manufacturing assistance, site selection, access to capital, accounting, cash flow management, permitting assistance, government contracting, international trade incentive analysis, and more. Contact IB BRC today at 760-353-8332 or visit ivbrc.org to get started. Here's a weather update with Carol Buckley. The National Weather Service says mostly clear and cool weather persists for the next few days. Strong high pressure will nudge toward the desert southwest tonight and tomorrow, leading to windy conditions for the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. Wind advisories have been issued through tomorrow. Calmer winds return later in the week and dry weather will continue through the weekend, high temperatures will remain below normal, climbing only into the upper 60s to lower 70s in the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. 70 our high yesterday, 43 the overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 71. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming north. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 49. Northwest wind 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 70. North wind 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour. 48 degrees downtown, 53% relative humidity. Wind out of the west southwest 5 to 7 miles an hour. Page two of the local news, a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we created the truck of the future for everyone. The Ford F-150. With an available 360-degree camera package that helps you spot obstacles. And with available Sync 4, designed to listen, respond, and give you an added boost of confidence. Because the truck of the future isn't created for just a few. It's created for America. The Ford F-150. Drive one today. We want your trade. Now get 1.9% APR Ford credit financing for 60 months on a 2022 Ford F-150 truck. Only at your San Diego County Ford dealers. Learn more at buyfordnow.com. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford credit financing. 1.9% APR financing for 60 months at $17.48 per month for $1,000 finance regardless of down payment. Not available on Raptor, Tremor, and Lightning. Residency restrictions apply. Take new retail delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock by 1-3-2023. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. NFL Monday Night Football, big upset. Yeah, the Washington Commanders upended the Philadelphia Eagles at the Eagles' nest. Yeah, it was uh, 32-21 when it was all over. The Commanders dominated that football game, handing the Eagles their first loss of the year. Meanwhile, Commanders defensive end Chase Young is expected to be activated this week to play Sunday against the Texans. His first game since tearing his ACL and MCL last November, according to team sources. So what's going on in the uh, NBA? Well, the Raptors rolled over the Pistons, 115-111. Hornets hammered the Magic, 112-105. Celtics clobbered the Thunder, 126-122. Heat edged the Suns, 113-112. Clippers clobbered the Rockets, 122-106. 
Hawks over the Bucks, 121-106. And the Warriors whipped the Spurs, 132-295. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. Well, Novak Djokovic is set to be granted a visa to play in next year's Australian Open, despite his high-profile deportation in January. The Australian Broadcasting Company said it had confirmed newspaper reports that the immigration minister had overturned a potential three-year exclusion period for Djokovic. Former Major League Baseball player Yasiel Puig, you remember him, has agreed to plead guilty to a federal charge for lying to law enforcement officials about sports bets he made with an illegal gambling operator. Puig, who now plays professionally in South Korea, will plead guilty to one count of making false statements, a crime that carries a maximum sentence of five years in federal prison. He has also agreed to pay a fine of at least $55,000. High school football continues on Friday. The Central Spartans will host the Ramona Bulldogs at Cal Jones Field. John Triffle and me will be there to bring you the action on the KXO YouTube channel and KXO AM 1230. It's uh, semifinal Division II CIF San Diego section playoff action. The winner of the uh, Friday night game will meet the winner of the Granite Hills Mira Mesa game in the Division II championship game Saturday, November 26th. That game to be played at Escondido High School. That's it for Sports Time. Brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. The Peanut Patch is celebrating. That's right. Donna and Pat are celebrating their 25th anniversary at the Peanut Patch on Saturday, November 19th. Now, the Peanut Patch has been around longer than that, but Pat and Donna have been there for 25 years now. There's going to be lots of vendors with free, free free samples for everyone. They will be selling tamales and the peanut patch will be donating 10% of sales to the Crossroads Mission. Don't forget the peanut patch. What a great place to visit. A great day trip. Well, yeah, you're going to find all sorts of great things. Homemade chocolates, fresh English toffee made from scratch, and they have their own post office. They can ship anywhere in the universe for you. It's the Peanut Patch celebrating their 25th anniversary Saturday, November 19th. We will see you there. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. A key measure of inflation, wholesale prices rose by 8% in October from a year before. That according to the latest report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the number is significantly better than forecast. Economists expected the producer price index or PPI, which measures prices paid for goods and services before they reach consumers to show an annual increase of 8.3% down from September's revised 8.4%. The market reacting positively to that news. Right now, the Dow up 315 points at 33,852. The S&P 500 up 58 points at 4,014. The NASDAQ up 248 points at 11,443. Gold down 340 an ounce and oil down 76 cents a barrel. Meanwhile, in other news, Warren Buffett's uh, company says they're going to buy a $4 billion stake in uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. They uh, 
$4.1 billion invested in one of the world's largest chip makers in a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission yesterday. Berkshire Hathaway said it acquired about 60 million American depository shares of TSMC in the three months ended September. Meanwhile, officials attending the first U.S.-China summit under the new Biden administration in March 2021 exchanged undiplomatic words highlighting a sense a tense relationship between the two largest economies grappling with a summary trade war. Since then, theme, it seems as though the, things have eased just a bit. Analysts said the most recent meeting could lay the groundwork for stronger ties between the two economic powerhouses. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. I've been providing private security locally for more than 20 years and have owned Southwest Security for more than six and a half years. I'm proud to announce that we have over 250 employees working here in Imperial and Coachella Valley. Last year, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year, P.O. Box service to you. Also located at Southwest Security at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. If you're in the need for security services, please call us at Southwest Security at 760-970-4500. That's 970-4500. We will have sunny skies today with a high near 71, west wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, then becoming north. Mostly clear tonight with a low around 49, northwest wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting as high as 20 miles an hour. Wednesday will be sunny with a high near 70, north wind 15 to 20 miles an hour, with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour. 49 degrees, 53% relative humidity. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at 4th and Heil, El Centro. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. They have great weekday specials. I like the friendly environment, the friendly staff, the cold beer, and the best weeks in town. Burgers and Beer, what I like about Burgers and Beer, the menu, everything on the menu is great. I'm working my way through the menu. My favorite thing right now is the grilled tuna chipotle sandwich. That's what I had yesterday, and it was delicious. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. On the Hour, presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance. I'm Steve Kathan. A trip to the grocery store can be painful. Things are not on sale as much as they used to be. Fruits and vegetables have gone way up. But there's another sign today inflation could be easing. The government says prices at the wholesale level were up 8% in October over a year ago. That's lower than the rate over the summer. Bankrate.com's Mark Hammer. While this snapshot of inflation at the wholesale level is being seen as better than expected news, it cannot be said yet that inflation has gone away. A week after Election Day, former President Trump is poised to launch his 2024 presidential bid. CBS's Major Garrett. Trump does not have to announce now. Even his closest advisors acknowledge that, and they know some Republicans are describing this preemptive move as a sign of weakness, not strength. Trump doesn't care. He's decided the best way to dominate the narrative and not incidentally possibly avoid indictment is to get back on center stage. Election denier Carrie Lake, backed by Trump, has not conceded defeat in the Arizona governor's race. CBS News now projects Democrat Katie Hobbs won that battle. CBS's Dennis Welch. She's going to be coming into an office where she's going to be working or try to work with a legislature that is very much is going to be controlled by Republicans. White House correspondent Stephen Portnoy is covering President Biden's overseas trip in Bali, Indonesia. After meetings with fellow world leaders, the president was due to attend a gala dinner being thrown by the Indonesian president. But instead, he went straight to his hotel. The White House says Mr. Biden, who turns 80 next week, had a long day and that he had matters back at home he wanted to focus on. A senior aide says Mr. Biden will be back at G20 meetings tomorrow. On this trip, Mr. Biden met one-on-one with China's President Xi. Back in Washington, FBI Director Christopher Wray told Congress this morning. The greatest long-term threat to our nation's ideas, innovation, and economic security our national security is that from China. An elementary school student remembered an important lesson. 
in the nick of time. Nine-year-old Essence Collier did not hesitate to act. I remember that I watched the video. I rushed over there as fast as I can. The video explained how to use the Heimlich maneuver, and she used it on a classmate who was choking during lunch at Frat Elementary School in Racine, Wisconsin. I said, like, a deep breath as I was putting my hands around her stomach. Classroom teacher Samantha Bradshaw. I was very surprised to see a fourth grader react in that way and so confident in the moment. The fourth grader says simply, I was happy because she still got her life back. Jim Crisula, CBS News. Checking Wall Street, right now the Dow is up 222 points. This is CBS News. Liberty Mutual customizes your car and home insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Visit LibertyMutual.com to learn more. Research shows listeners prefer a personalized experience. So to help you remember, Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance. We personalize this ad for Amber, who really misses boy bands from the 90s. Hey, girl. I'm the cute one. Here to tell you how Liberty Mutual customizes your home insurance so you only pay for what you need. I'm the heartthrob. The only thing I love more than you is saving. And I'm the other boy in the band everyone forgot about. Just happy to be Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Did you know that feeling sluggish or weighed down could be signs that your digestive system isn't working at its best? But taking Metamucil every day can help. Metamucil supports your daily digestive health using a special plant-based fiber called psyllium. Psyllium works by forming a gel in your digestive system to trap and remove the waste that weighs you down. Metamucil's gelling action also helps to promote heart health and slows down sugar absorption to promote healthy blood sugar levels. Start feeling lighter and more energetic by taking Metamucil every day. The U.N. is calling on Iran to release thousands of people detained during the recent protests there. CBS's Cammie McCormick. The U.N. Human Rights Office says Iran's government has used increasing harshness in its crackdown on demonstrators. It's calling for all charges to be dropped against those arrested and warned Iran the death penalty should be handed down only for the most serious crimes under international law. These protests began after a young woman died in the custody of Iranian police because of the way she wore her headscarf. Former Major League outfielder Yasiel Puig will plead guilty to lying to federal agents investigating an illegal gambling operation. Court documents unsealed say he's agreed to plead to one count of making false statements and could face up to five years in federal prison. He also agreed to pay a fine of at least $55,000. Puig played seven big league seasons. I'm Steve Kaith in CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I always have my music on. With Carol Buckley. I can't go a day without it. <laughs> 